Spoiler alert, we've got an emergency on our hands. The group is falling apart. In such dire times, you either stick together or you die. I'm Ash and welcome to Dead Man Talking. I wish you a happy apocalyptic Easter because at this time of year, it's nice to remember the little things. This episode, Carol gets into the Easter spirit in her own way by creating a treasure hunt for the gang. She kisses her man goodbye and leaves Alexandria for good. I wish it didn't have to end, not this way. But the team were hot on her trail. And let's face it, it's pretty hard to remain inconspicuous when you're driving a Mad Max inspired golf. Now, I just want to take a minute to talk about Carol's mindset. Am I missing something here? Back at the safe house, Carol had the epiphany she was slowly losing her humanity and she didn't want to become another Paula. Reluctant to draw on her killer instinct, she vows to never kill again, choosing to leave Alexandria because she feels she's no longer an asset, but a liability. But this begs the question, is Carol's reasoning flawed? You say you don't want to kill again, yet you head out into the unknown by yourself, where you'll no doubt have to kill again. Also, just because you're not a ruthless killing machine doesn't mean you're not a useful member of the community. What about this guy? Or this chick? Or there's even... <laughs> Maybe not. Carol's barely out of the gates before she runs into trouble. But don't fear, she has a little trick up her sleeve. Now, we all know Rick is a man of action. He's gotten the group out of a lot of turmoil in the past. Will Rick's us or them attitude be the key to conquering the saviors? Or will it be Morgan's forgiving and empathetic approach? I don't take chances anymore. But all life is precious. In the final scene, we see Glenn and Michonne being ambushed by a familiar face. Hi, Daryl. Now, if they're taken back to Negan, they'll have a lot to answer for. What the Dwight? We've all wanted to shoot Daryl. Did they just kill Daryl? Or was it merely a flesh wound? Either way, being shot that close, it's going to leave him out of action for a while. Also, anyone notice this cool Easter egg? Comic readers will understand the awesome bat and barbed wire reference. Viewers of the show, you'll just have to wait to find out. I think I'm that much more ready to tear the world a brand new asshole. This season of The Walking Dead is nearly over, but there's still plenty to be excited about. Fear the Walking Dead season two kicks off April 11, and Robert Kirkman's new series Outcast is on effects in June, express from the US. Tune in for the extended season finale, 8.30 next Monday, and be sure to grab some mates, put on some popcorn, I promise. Next week's gonna be a good one. I'm Ash Turner, and you've been watching Dead Man Talking.